Derek Cook, and my presentation is on the engine war and annihilation attempt. The engine war was a major East Asian war fought uh, between the years from 1592 to 1598. Um, involved the nations of Chosun Korea, Ming China, and Japan, and it was uh, both. It was fought both on land and sea, and it was the only invasion, foreign invasion by the samurai, and um, a Korean admiral named Yi Shin Chen affected the course of the war more than anyone. The um, Toyotomi was the uh, daimyo uh, ruling Japan. Um, the uh, four of the yeah, before the war, at the time, and, and prior to the war, he used a he used force to unify, unify Japan, and he had an ambition to conquer uh, Chosun Korea and Ming China, and he uh, and he prepared to invade um, by uh, choosing his best samurai to lead the invasion. Meanwhile, uh, Chosun Korea was led by uh, King Sanjo and his government, and um, they were not prepared to handle the military invasion at the time. And um, there was a in Chosun Korea, there was a breakdown of law and order and military discipline. And um, among the Koreans, believed that the Japanese were superior. That, the, that they were superior to the Japanese. One man who was preparing for an invasion was this man, Admiral Yi Shin Shen. Um, after taking command of the Lepchala Navy in 1591, he started strengthening the fleet and improving discipline. And um, Mm -hmm. uh, the war began with a surprise invasion in May 1592. A large Japanese force landed in Pusan, Korea, and the uh, eventually the entire invading force was 158, 700,000 men, and Pusan um, uh, fell quickly, and the uh, samurai invaders moved inland. And uh, the invaders marched northward in June 1592. Uh, King Sanjo and his government were forced to flee. And then um, the Japanese took, uh, took Seoul and by July 1592 the Japanese uh, took Pyongyang, Korea. And then, uh, with things lurking, looking dark on the peninsula, uh, the Chosenese were desperate for victories to turn things around. And then in June 1592, Admiral Yi came to a rescue at the Battle of Akpo. Uh, it was the first naval, naval battle of the war, and the Chosenese fleet, led by Yi, won the Battle of Akpo, uh, sinking 26 Japanese ships. Uh, Admiral Yi's high-tech secret weapon at the time was the turtle ship, which he helped design. It was designed to strike fear in the Japanese and was used as a stealth weapon, and it featured a uh, dragon's head, iron deck spikes, and 26 cannons. Uh, the next major naval battle of the war was the Battle of Seixian, fought in uh, July 1592. The turtle ship, along with Ali's innovative battle tactics, resulted in every single Japanese ship being sunk. Uh, 
Adam Lee Yee's victories turned the tide of the war and caused great concern for the Japanese. Their defeats at sea were jeopardizing their supply lines and land campaigns. Toyotomi Hideyoshi gave orders to his land commanders to seek out and destroy the Korean fleet. Uh, they banned the Korean fleet on August 13, 1592, and the result was the Battle of Honsando, uh, and it was the one of the greatest naval battles ever fought. During the battle, Yi's fleet used a brilliant new tactic designed by him called the uh, crane wing formation. Uh, his fleet aligned in a huge shape and defeated the entire Japanese fleet. And the results of the battle uh, were devastating for Japanese. The, their supply lines were cut and um, so they couldn't send more troops to the peninsula and their forces could no longer advance. And uh, Toyotomi's uh, dream of conquering Ming China and Chosun Korea would, from then on, be an uphill battle. And then at this time, the land war began turning around for the chosen for the Chosenese. In October 1592, the Chosenese won the siege of Jinju and a major development. Ming China agreed to enter the war to aid the Chosenese in December 1592. Then a month later, their combined forces retook Pyongyang from the Japanese. And then um, the, the Chosenese won the Battle of Hangzhou in February 1593. And during the battle, they used a uh, early rocket wa launcher called a Huacha, and it would, and um, using it, the Japanese suffered 10,000 casualties and were forced to pull their forces back. And then by 1594, uh, both sides entered into a phase of the war where there was a uh, little fighting, and then um, yeah, they withdrew to Kazan and a ceasefire was agreed upon. And meanwhile, the using the ceasefire as an opportunity, uh, the chosen strengthened their land and castle defenses, and they required military service of all men. And then um, eventually, peace negotiations broke down because each side believed the other would submit and. Uh, become their vassal. And then the second invasion began in January 1597 when a Japanese force of 1,000 ships and 141,000 men um, landed back in Korea and uh, Toyotomi Toyotomi's goal this time was to only conquer Chosun Korea, but the forces were stalled for months in Jiangsang province until the fall of 1597, when they began an offensive to try to recapture Seoul. Part of the strat, the uh, Hideyoshi Toyotomi's uh, strategy to, to win the war was a plot to remove Adam Lee and the Japanese succeeded in planting a double agent in Chison and was successful in having Yi uh, falsely charged and um, King Sanjo ordered Yi to be tortured to the near point of death. And then his replacement, uh, Animal Yi's replacement, Wan Kiang, engaged the Japanese uh, at the uh, Battle of Kyo Yang on in uh, July 1597, and after hearing the news of the defeat, King Sanjo quickly pardoned Yi and he restored him. And 
And then on October 26, 1597, with uh, the remaining fleet, Emily uh, lured the Japanese into the Menyang Strait, a place where only one ship could enter at a time. And miraculously, uh, Emily's fleet won the battle and he, the, he achieved one of the greatest victories in the war. As a result of the war, uh, Admiral, uh, the Japanese land forces were forced to stop their advance on Seoul. And then in September 1598, on, 1598 and on his deathbed, Toyotomi Hideyoshi uh, ordered all his troops to uh, back to Japan, and then um, he, shortly after he died. Then on December 16th, 1598, uh, Amelie once again leads his fleet in the final battle of the war called the Battle of Noryang. At, but at the time, Amelie was unaware that the Japanese were pulling out. And then at the, at the battle, he defeated the Japanese fleet once again of 500 ships. But sadly for the Chosenese, Adam Lee was struck by a sniper and died. Uh, It was uh, Chosun Korea, Korea was devastated by the war with 10,000 ca casualties, and uh, captured prisoners were mistreated by the Japanese, where their heads, ears, and noses sent back to Japan. And the Japanese altered, also captured and enslaved thousands of Chosenese artisans and scholars and used them to enhance Japanese culture. But the Chosenese and Ming armies were not innocent either because they robbed civilians for supplies and took their land. And uh, the legacy of the war is there's lasting animosity between the Koreas and Japan into the modern day. And the Koreans feel that their culture was stolen from them during the war. And North Korea, for its part, makes use of this animo uh, animosity by making continuous threats of war and as part of the overall goal of keeping the Kim Dynasty in power. Abel Yi's legacy lives on to this day in South Korea. After he died, shrines to him were constructed and largely because of Abel Yi's uh, efforts, Korea may remain a free nation and would not be invaded again by Japanese for nearly three centuries. <laughs>